the ionic hydrohalogenation of conjugated dienes bears some similarity to the ionic hydrohalogenation of alkenes, and therefore you may find it useful to review the video on the ionic hydrohalogenation of alkenes before going further. When the substrate is a conjugated diene rather than a simple alkene, the reaction is a bit different because conjugated pi bonds are not merely two alkenes. The fact that they are conjugated to one another means that they behave as a single functional group, and therefore the whole functional group must be considered when these conjugated systems undergo ionic hydrohalogenation. The reaction begins with the protonation of one of the diene's pi bonds. And this results in the formation of the conjugated, or allylic, carbocation. The reason is that the conjugated, or allylic, carbocation has resonance stabilization, which makes it much lower in energy than the isolated carbocation would be. The resonance delocalization of the positive charge spreads partial positive character over two different centers in the molecule, either of which can be attacked by the halide in the second step of the mechanism. This leads to two products known as the 1-2 addition product and the 1-4 addition product. The reason for the name stems from the fact that the hydrogen and the halogen are either on adjacent carbons, hence 1, 2, or they are separated by four intervening atoms, hence the name 1, 4. The product distribution can be affected by temperature. Lower temperatures favor the 1, 2 addition product, which is the kinetic product of the reaction. In other words, the 1-2 product is formed faster because once the proton is added to the substrate, the halide is naturally closer to the 2 position than it is to the 4 position. And this is sometimes referred to as the proximity effect. So at lower temperatures, the 1-2 addition product, or the kinetic product, predominates. In this case, the 1,4 addition product is favored at higher temperatures, typically around 40 degrees Celsius. The 1,4 product is, in this specific example, the thermodynamic product because it contains the more highly substituted, and therefore more stable, alkene. When the dimethyl cyclopentadiene shown here is treated with HCl, it is protonated in only one way due to its symmetry. Either the red or the blue pi bond may be protonated, but either would be protonated so as to afford the same conjugated or allylic carbocation. The conjugation spreads the plus charge over two centers, each of which bear a partial positive charge as a result. And either center can be attacked by chloride in the second step of the mechanism. This affords both the 1-2 and the 1-4 addition product. At lower temperatures, the 1-2 addition product would be favored due to the proximity effect, which makes it the kinetically favored product. On the other hand, it is the 1,4 addition product that contains the more highly substituted double bond. This is consequently the more stable alkene product, and it is formed at higher temperatures. In this case, the 1,4 addition product can also be called the thermodynamic product.
when an unsymmetrical methyl cyclopentadiene substrate is used, protonation of the red and blue pi bonds would afford different carbocations. Let's first consider the protonation of the red pi bond. This yields an allylic carbocation in which the charge is resonance delocalized over tertiary and secondary positions, either of which can be attacked by bromide in the second step of the mechanism, yielding both a 1,2 and a 1,4 addition product. On the other hand, protonation of the blue pi bond by HBr could also afford a conjugated carbocation, but in this case that charge is spread over two secondary centers. This is not as stable, therefore, as the carbocation that came from protonation of the red pi bond, because in that instance the carbocation was spread over a tertiary and a secondary center. Hence, this is a higher energy resonance hybrid, and we would expect it to lead to minor products. In the second step of the reaction, bromide can attack either center bearing partial positive charge. However, the 1-2 and the 1-4 addition products in this case happen to be the same compound. That will be emphasized on the next slide. So these two structures, both of which result from the initial protonation of the blue pi bond, may initially appear to be different, but they are in fact identical. And this is much more obvious when the hydrogen is not explicitly shown and when the colors are omitted. Now we can appreciate that these two structures may be interconverted simply by rotation around this axis. To summarize this reaction, the hydrohalogenation of 2-methyl 1,3-cyclopentadiene can yield three allylic bromide products. However, the last product is expected to be a minor product since it results from a pathway in which both carbocations are secondary. The pathway with secondary and tertiary carbocations leads to an overall lower energy resonance hybrid and therefore results in the two major products of the reaction. It's worth noting that although the 1,4 product has been the thermodynamic product in all of the preceding examples, this is not always the case. In the reaction shown here, the 1,2 product contains a tri-substituted alkene, but the alkene in the 1,4 product is only di-substituted. So in this case, it is the 1,2 addition product that is the thermodynamic product. In summary, the hydrohalogenation of conjugated dienes affords two allylic halides, the 1,2 and 1,4 addition products. The product distribution can be affected by temperature. Low temperatures favor the kinetic product, and higher temperatures favor the thermodynamic product. The kinetic product results from nearby addition of both the proton and the halide. This is known as the proximity effect and leads to 1-2 addition. The thermodynamically favored product contains the more highly substituted alkene. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. 
If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, and in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.